no dear students now today we will discuss about new chapter that is excretion and water balance in insects so first what is about the excretion excretion it means to remove nitrogenous containing waste product from the body is called as excretion now outline of this lecture that is the types of excretory system basic nephridial system crypto nephridial system then second organs of excretion that is a major organ one is in insects that is malpighian tubules second one is the rectum third one is some accessory organs responsible for excretion process and number fourth physiology of excretion and they are related to the osmo regulation now first what about these types of excretory system before that excretory system in insects it is a morphologically intimately associated with organs of digestion it is well adapted for elimination of various excess and toxic mostly nitrogenous waste product of metabolism and for efficient maintenance of constant level of salts water osmotic pressure of hemolymph the excretory system is basically composed of two structures malpighian tubules and rectum the malpighian tubules absorb the nitrogenous waste water and salts from hemolymph while rectum performs selective reabsorption and end product of excretion that is the urine and it is discharged out now types of excretory system first they are related to this uh, anatomical association these malpighian tubules they are long slender convoluted tubes of which proximal end opens at a junction of hindgut and midgut while distal end remains blind now this is about the position of excretory organs that is a malpighian tubules now they will be present in here this is about this part of midgut means digestive system is made up of three parts that is a foregut midgut and hindgut in between foregut and midgut presence of hepatic cecca and in between this midgut and hindgut here presence of number of small microscopic structures tubular sac that is a malpighian tubules and this malpighian tubules are dispersed into the hemolymph this outer part is a hemolymph hemolymph and then this malpighian tubules they are concerned with excretion in function now this on the basis of association or dissociation of distal end malpighian tubules with rectum two types of excretory systems are recognized now, one is a basic nephridial system and second one is a crypto nephridial system now first what is about the basic nephridial system in large number of insects distal ends of malpighian tubules they are freely bathed in hemolymph of hemocin the malpighian tubules absorb various waste substances as well as salts water from hemolymph and then they discharge into the hindgut through its distal end the superior or anterior tubules in carosius as well as dacus and drosophila which bear distinct dilation at their distal ends all the tubules open independently but some insects such as gilets all tubules open proximally into a common ureter and later finally it opens into the gut similarly some beetles that is a haltica and donacia a group of four tubules open in a common ampulla while remaining two open independently in case of red cotton bug then uh, other uh, that is a disc decorcus all tubules of one side 
open into common ampulla or that will be called as a bladder which ultimately opens into the gut in hemiptera the tubules are differentiated into distal clear part and that filled with fluid and proximal half containing solid or granular substance this is about the basic nephridial system then second crypto nephridial system in some insects the distal end of malpighian tubules is closely associated or inserted into rectum and which forming the crypto nephridial or crypto solenar system and it is formed in a larvae and adults of coleoptera larvae of lepidoptera some hymenoptera and neuroptera in coleoptera the malpighian tubules do not differentiate into the regions but in lepidoptera the tubules are typically differentiated into two sections that is the distal part and which contain the fluid and proximal part which contain the solid particles this is a very important distal part which contain the fluid and proximal part contain the solid particles but in coleoptera the distal end of the tubule are folded and closely applied to the rectum and both are enclosed together by perinephric membrane the perinephric membrane encloses the perinephric space and that will present between the tubules and rectal walls the tubules dilate in the perinephric space and tubules wall uh, becomes very thin and composed of a uh, leptophraga cell in lepidopterum larvae the inner layer of tubules is closely applied to rectal epithelium the distal ends of this malpighian tubules are folded back in a such way that they constitute outer layer and it is separated from inner layer by two cells uh, that will be contain the thick flatten cells the entire complex is enclosed by outer membrane and muscle coat this is about these two systems they are found in a different type of insects then uh, next part that is a uh, organs of excretion now uh, in different type of animals in higher animals that is a vertebrate animals the organ of excretion that is a pair of kidneys and kidneys which contain number of nephrons or uriferous tubules and these nephrons which act as a excretion process but on the basis of type of excretory products the animals are classified into three types on the basis of type of excretory products these three types are ammonotelic ureotelic and uricotelic ammonotelic means what the animals which excrete ammonia is a excretory product that will be called as ammonotelic animals and the process or physiological process called as a ammonotelism second uh, ureotelism in ureotelism to remove nitrogenous containing waste product from the body in the form of urea that is called as ureotelic animals and then in ureotelic animals the removal of nitrogenous waste containing waste product from the body that is called as a, uh, in the form of uric acid called as a ureotelic animals and the process that is called as ureotelism now this is about this three types of these animals but uh the excretory product that is about the first ammonia is formed how ammonia is formed by the process of simple deamination means removal of ammonia group from particular ammonia acid that is ammonia and then ammonia which convert the urea and urea convert to uric acid but majority of the purines and pyrimidines they get metabolized and to form the uric acid means here the ammonotelic ureotelic and uricotelic means ammonia urea and uric acid now here mostly these animals uh, concern with this uh, excretion that is organs of excretion uh, first one is uh, malpighian tubules second is the rectum third uh, rectum with that is rectal pads rectal papillae cryptonephric complex rectal chloride epithelia these two major organs responsible for the excretion in insects first what is about the malpighian tubules uh, presence of excreted tubules in a junction of mid gut and hind gut 
and uh, these malpighento holes first reported by italian scientist that is a marcello malpighi in 1669 and therefore uh, the structures were named later on on malpighento holes by one of the scientists that is a mekel in 1820 the malpighento holes are present almost in all insects except columbola some thysanura uh, and aphids their number size and modifications vary among the insects the basic number of malpighento holes is considered as 6 but may undergoes reduction or addition in different insects means uh, that is a from 2 to 250 and there are four in anoplura thysanoptera hemiptera diptera four to six number of malpighento holes in anoplura thysanoptera hemiptera then a uh, six in lepidoptera eight to 20 in a dermatoptera now uh, this some of this uh, insects uh, there is a group of insects protura diptera and streptisiptera the malpighento holes are developed in the form of papillae rather than this tubulins in instead of these tubules the malpighent tubules are derived from either proctodium or mesenteron or from in differential zone of cells lying between the midgut and hindgut their development is still as uh, that is a actually controversial uh, subject because their development the wall of malpighent tubules composed of four to six large epithelial cells and they are arranged in a circle the nuclei are distinct and may be a uh, giant endopolyploid of nature each cell bears towards the lumen a brush or honeycomb border is there externally the cells are rest on basement membrane the basement membrane in some insects like orthroptera is wrapped externally by spiral strands of muscles the tubules in lepidoptera diptera and hemiptera do not possess these muscles except at proximal end where a group of circular and longitudinal muscles fibers are locked in coleoptera and neuroptera a muscle sheet is continuously running entire length of these tubules but lacking in thysanura dermaptera and thysanoptera there are two types of cells in this insects where each malpighent tubule is differentiated into distal clear and proximal opaque regions these two important regions distal clear and proximal opaque regions the distal part is composed of such cells which bear the honeycomb border and which form due to this modification of free margin of cells into 3 to 10 micron cytoplasmic filament so the proximal part is composed of those cells which have a brush border formed due to the cytoplasmic filaments of 7 to 40 micrometer length separated from each other the plasma membrane of this basal region of the cells is deeply invaginated within the cells and much they are complex like as a honeycomb like border now these cells which contain more mitochondria and mitochondria are the conspicuous in filaments of honeycomb border while they occur in a large number within this basal folds of plasma membrane in brush border now these malpighent tubules contain some of the enzymes now these enzymes like uh, alkaline phosphatase acid phosphatase lipase and succinic dehydrogenase and also some of the uh, water soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins means what the vitamins which are soluble in water uh, like the riboflavin thymine niacin pentothenic acid and ascorbic acid now this is about the uh, organ of excretion related to the malpighent tubules and most of these insects these malpighent tubules which act as a extra organs now in a next lecture we'll see the rectum part thank you very much